lot of us drivers have never experienced 60 mile an hour winds before. Dan Stryaski is a truck driving instructor at MATC. You'll just feel like somebody just completely pushed the truck. His students get eight weeks of training. Wisconsin doesn't require taking a class to get a commercial driver's license. If you can drive a car, you can get the permit to take the CDL tests. So to get just a tiny taste of what it's like to drive a semi in the wind, we're set up here with a simulator. You're going to get about a 16 mile an hour gust of wind right now. I don't even have any other cars here on the road. No. If I did, I'd hate to think where they would be right now. He pumped it up to 60 miles per hour winds, the same gust that forced more than a dozen trucks to roll over in Wisconsin. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. That you can't, you can't control it at all. Stryeski says more knowledgeable drivers didn't chance it yesterday and parked, but. It's very hard for companies to tell their customers, hey, you're not getting your food this day because we have higher winds. He says in the end, it's the driver's responsibility to say if he or she doesn't feel comfortable on the road. In Milwaukee County, I'm Adrian Pedersen, WISN 12 News.